Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how to change brake pads on an ATV. These ones are dirty, they're due on a service, and they're getting low. This side doesn't look too bad, but the other side is pretty bad. So stay tuned. Loosen the caliper bolts. This one. And this one in the bottom. Once the bolts are loose, go ahead and pull the caliper off the rotor or disc. You can loosen this zip tie or you can just work with it. So here are the pads. The fluid is because I was bleeding the system. We installed new brake lines on these. Open the master cylinder. This screw and this screw. Remove the top and the diaphragm. Set it aside. Get our favorite tool. Just press the pads in. This pushes the piston in the caliper. pushed in you should be able to pop these off okay so there was just a little dirt stuck in there I had to shake it and clean it up and then you can move this part up and down see that so then you can't remove it because the pads are in the way push it in all the way and then the pad should just slide out there you go this one pad out see that there's barely no pad on it here's the new ones it's quite a bit of difference pop this one same thing look just goes in slides over remove the old pads take this bracket out there you go clean it up this take your brake lubricant put on these lubricate these slide them in Work them back and forth. Perfect. Install new pads. The camera decided to die, so I finished the other side. I'll show you how to install the brake pads on this side. Hold the caliper in place. Put your new brake pad in. Put it in position. There you go. So the trick is to be on an angle and then eventually it lines up. So now I can push it in and it pops into place. Sometimes again it doesn't, but it will. Just a little jiggle and it's back into place. 
That's the inner pad. Here's the outer. Put it in. The one pin. And again, you have to be on an angle. So low on one pin and then high on the other. And snap it into place. There you go. New brake pads. Then you just spread them open, slide them over the rotor, and put in position for the screws from the back. There you go, so the bottom is in, and then the top. Perfect, now you want to torque these to spec, and then you're good to go. Don't forget to uh, put the cover back up on the master cylinder, and make sure everything is working right.